Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Kristen. I'm Jen. It's, yeah, it's, that's, that's, the, whole, that's yeah, the whole song. Okay. I didn't write a song, okay? <laughs> welcome to the Kitchen and Jordan Show. Today we are going to be trying every Aldi's frozen pizza. How many are there? There's like 11. And if there aren't 11, whoever's editing this, correct Sammy, us right how here. Many, how many did you count? 10. 10. <laughs> 10. All right, there's 10 I, pizzas. I think there's 11. There's Obviously, these are just the pizzas that were available at our Aldi. They may not be the pizzas that are available at your Aldi. We only picked pizzas that are not like a brand name you can get somewhere else. Our rating system as per usual is just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, it's penalty, penalty box, box bad. bad! Our friend Sammy gave us a great suggestion, which is that the first pizza we try today is the breakfast pizza, because oh. that's how you'd be starting off your day. Yes, that's how you'd be starting off the day in which you eat 11 pizzas. The first pizza we are going to be trying is the Mama Coatsy's Biscuit Crust Sausage and Cheese Breakfast Pizza. It has sausage, country style gravy, mozzarella, and cheddar Wait. cheeses on a flaky biscuit crust. Yeah, there's gravy no, on this pizza. Oh, there's gravy on this pizza. I didn't read that. Mm. How do you feel about frozen pizza? I like frozen pizza. I eat frozen pizza a lot. I never eat frozen pizza. I only eat fresh pizza. I actually am kind of curious. So this is the sausage and cheese breakfast pizza. Let's I, go. I'm less curious. I gave you the bigger piece. Five. Okay, I mean, that's good. This is good. Is good. Oh, oh my God. It kind of tastes like a McDonald's breakfast burrito. This is like a hangover pizza. Uh -huh. This is like, do you need a pizza that's gonna, gonna like take care of like a lot of issues for you? The dough is like really flaky and nice. And then it tastes like you're just eating a delicious sausage and biscuit situation. This is sausage and gravy and biscuits plus cheese. This is really great. This is really great. Yeah. <laughs> the next pizza we are trying is the Mama Coatsy's cheese stuffed crust pepperoni pizza. So it says there's two and a half feet of cheese in the crust. It's like there's an intestine of crust around the outside of the pizza and it's full of cheese. I guess. This doesn't make any sense to me. There's supposed to be cheese in mm. here. Where's the cheese? Are we positive is the stuffed one? Maybe that's the stuffed one? I want more of that breakfast pizza. I do too. I'll, I want the breakfast pizza. It's like I broke up with breakfast pizza. Now all, I can't stop thinking about breakfast pizza. <laughs> We should also make sure to try the crust because that's where the cheese is. I like a DiGiorno pizza. The cheese in the crust doesn't really have much flavor. It's a little too doughy for my it's taste. It's a little too doughy. It's like passable frozen pizza. Like I would say this as a whole, just okay. So now that we're actually trying the Mama Coatsy's Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza. I would say that this crust doesn't look like super riz. It does not look riz. It looks like a bicycle tire. <laughs> This one has much worse dough. This the, is like Lunchables pizza bad. Yes, the dough is like very like, I don't know, it's very chewy. I feel like I'm eating cheese topped on a mattress. The previous pizza was just okay. This is penalty box this bad. This is penalty box bad. Yeah. So next we are gonna be trying a the- A Rising Crust four cheese. This is like almost the same thing. We're not, I know we're not gonna like this. This is the Mama Coatsy Rising Crust four cheese pizza. It might be worse. It's the exact same pizza we just ate, but without like the fun pepperoni. Is, I, let's try it. Am I even an open mind? That's that's bad. Yeah, this is cool cafeteria pizza. It tastes pretty much the exact same as the other one that we didn't like. It's worse. But it's without, the pepper worse. without pepperoni. The rising crust. This is penalty, penalty box, box bad. bad. God, that's nasty. Oh, that's not good. Oh. I want the breakfast pizza. Again. It's like, I just want her. Oh, I can't stop thinking about her. <laughs> so this is the Mama Coatsy's original thin pizza with sausage. All right. This is, this is like, oof. I don't know. I like sausage. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> The problem with frozen thin crust is that I think it usually gets pretty soggy, and this is soggy. Mm -hmm. However, the flavor of the sausage is nice. This is basically the rising crust, but they got rid of the mattress. Oh, pretty good? I think it's just okay. Mm, it's just okay. <laughs> Man, I just can't stop thinking about that breakfast pizza. She's still here. We God, it's just like, it's... Okay, anyway, we gotta, we have a job to do. This is the Meat Lovers Thin Crust Mamakotsi. It says great for grilling. Actually, I wonder if this would be good grilled. I never thought to put a pizza on a grill. I think great for grilling is their gentle way of being like, this is gonna taste like ass unless you grill it. I've <laughs> literally never seen anyone cook a frozen pizza on the grill. But it makes sense though. Cause like, if you don't have a pizza oven, it's like, it's not exactly the same thing, but like you'll get like kind of the same, the same, the same crisp oh, of the, nice. you know, yes. My theory as to why pepperoni is so effective a topping is that pepperoni is both salty and it's also like 
a different type of fat. So like, it's a way to both layer fats and also get like a saltiness at the same time. Yeah. Like it's just kind of like an umami bomb. Anyway, this is my, my Kristen doesn't cook, but she understands how to eat. Lesson for the day. Um, okay, this is good. The pepperoni is carrying it across the finish line. It's like fucking LeBron James on like the 2016 calves. But this is the first one since the breakfast pizza where I've wanted to eat the whole thing. Oh, you don't, you don't want to talk about sports with me? I can talk about sports. You want to talk about the 2005 White Sox? <laughs> I bet that if you grilled it, it actually would be better. Because truly with thin crust, like, it's all about the crispiness, mm -hmm. and that's just hard to, to create in, a, in an oven. Meat Lover's Original Thin. It's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's uh, the Mama Cozy Original Thin Pepperoni Pizza. So this is just pepperoni without the sausage. This one is crisper. Okay, here's the crunch. This is definitely a crispier yeah. specimen than the other one. This is pretty good. Pepperoni is doing a lot of work here, oh. but that's true all the time. I know it sounds crazy. I would try putting it in the oven upside down so the crust can crisp. Yeah. A little better. And then like having like a flat plate and then just kind of doing like this. I tried to reheat it just now in the microwave and I sort of, I put it on like its back. I and mean, actually like it, it transferred quite well. Yeah. So maybe that's something that is worth trying if, you're, if you can't get like a crispy crust. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, All right. pretty good. All right. So the next pizza <laughs> we're trying is the cauliflower crust pizza. This is a three cheese pizza. And you can smell the cauliflower. You really can smell the cauliflower. <laughs> and cauliflower is like a generally pretty mild flavor. So it's interesting. I will say it looks like bread and not cauliflower. This is so interesting though, because I've had cauliflower pizzas that <laughs> don't so taste good, but they also don't taste like cauliflower. This also doesn't taste that good, but it does taste like it cauliflower, like, which is reassuring. I get that we eat gluten-free options, but like as I've said in many other videos, it's important for those options to be delicious. That is maybe the worst thing we've tried today. You're tasting cauliflower, a little bit of salt, and like, not much else. This is penalty box bad, I'm sorry yeah, guys. This is like the evil twin of the breakfast pizza. Because that was that's the best thing we've that's had. That's the best thing we've had. Maybe maybe, maybe years. years. We love that breakfast pizza. I know, pizza. I just keep, so thinking, good. just keep thinking about her. This is the garlic cheese flatbread. I'm actually excited. You can smell the garlic, this is gonna be great. Yeah, that's how I know you're not a vampire. This is basically garlic bread. This is really good. Holy shit. This is delicious. This is basically, the best analog to this is uh, Little Caesar's crazy bread, but like the font is incursive, so like you can feel a little better about yourself, I guess. You are really great. Really You're great. really great. And they're on the- Ah! Did you step in pizza? Yeah. For our final item, we're trying the pizza bagel products. The so bagel pizzas! The bagel pizzas. These are Mamakotsis. So we have, this is like the meat and pepperoni one. And this is the cheese and a pepperoni one. Uh -oh. oh, which you one? cannot tell them <laughs> apart. Can't tell the difference. So we'll the sausage. The things. top row? Yeah. Ah, thank you, Sammy. Let's try the pepperoni first. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a bagel bite. It's a bagel bite. I will say it does taste like a bagel and not pizza crust. Let's try the sausage. Let's try the sausage. Um, it tastes almost exactly the same. It tastes exactly the same. I, like, honestly, I don't really taste a difference. Sausage is really not holding up at the end of the burger in there. I actually feel like the the pepperoni bagel bite, pretty good. The sausage combination bagel bite, just okay. All right, pizza! Wow, we had some favorites, didn't we? We sure did. We oh my God, I stepped Please, in another stop pizza. stop stepping in pizza. <laughs> This is our favorite. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello. God, this pizza is so good. This breakfast pizza is delicious. The garlic flatbread. So good. Delicious. These are obviously the two best ones. Yeah. The worst one is the cauliflower. Yeah, the cauliflower one is uh, quite painful. Probably, I would say the rising crust cheese. Anyway, this breakfast pizza. This breakfast pizza, we sure loved her. You guys love us, we hope. Oh Subscribe, God. stick around, tell your friends, and we'll be back next we'll week be with back another later. video. We'll be back. We will we never leave. Is the breakfast pizza. Breakfast pizza? Breakfast pizza. 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 Breakfast pizza.